I am going to solve this problem 313. In this problem it is said that a woodcutter wishes to cause the tree trunk to fall uphill even though the trunk is leaning downhill, right? So this trunk is leaning downhill but the woodcutter wants to cause the, truck to fall, the trunk to fall in this direction, right? The, the uphill direction. So it is said that with the aid of the winch W, right? So this is the this is the winch W, right? So with the help of this winch, what tension T in the cable will be required, right? So we are asked to find this tension in the cable. So let's say that this is the tension T. It is required, right? And it says that the 600 kg trunk has a center of gravity at G. So this is the center of gravity of this trunk and its weight will act at this point. So let me draw that weight. So its weight will be acting vertically downward, right? Let's say that this is the weight and this weight will be, let me write it here. So weight will be 600 into 9.81 Newtons, right? And it says that the felling notch at O is sufficiently large so that the resisting moment there is negligible. So the resisting moment here is negligible. To find this uh, T magnitude, we will apply the summation of moment at point O equal to 0. So before that, we will resolve these, uh, this T into its components, right? So it will have two components. So one component will be along X. Let's say that this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction, right? So this is Tx component and this is 10 degrees. So then this Tx will be T cos of 10 degrees. And similarly, it will have one component here in the negative y direction. And that will be perpendicular, right? It will be acting vertically downward, right? So this component is Ty and the and its magnitude will be T sine of 10 degrees. And this is that uh, weight. Let me write this as weight. So if we apply the summation of moment about point O equals to 0 and we say that uh, this moment, the counterclockwise moment is positive. So, as we can see that this cos component is producing the clockwise moment about this point O, right? So, I will write minus Tx or T cos of 10 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this Tx from point O is this distance. This O, let's say this is that point A. It's somewhere here, this is this is point A, right? So this point is, let's say that this is A dash, let's say. This is that point A where the point of application of T and this is A dash. So the perpendicular distance of this T cos of 10 from that O is this straight distance along X, right? So this O A dash distance. So if we consider this triangle, let me draw a triangle. Let's say that this is that point O and somewhere here is that point G and somewhere here is that point A. That is the point of application of that tension T. <clears throat> and let's say that this is A dash. So now we know this O A dash length. This O A dash length is 4 plus 1.3. So this O A dash, this slant length is 5.3 meters. And we know this angle, this angle is 5 degrees, right? So this is 5 degrees. So this is the perpendicular distance of the cos component of T, right? So this distance, this OA dash perpendicular uh, distance is 5.3 cos of 5 degrees, right? So we will write, we will multiply this with 5.3 cos of 5 degrees, right? And similarly, let me draw that force is here as well, right? So if I draw that T here, so this is the T. 
and this is its cost component right and here it has its sign component let me draw it like this so this is that sign component this is that tx let me write this is tx this is ty so the perpendicular distance of this ty from this point o is this much distance this a a dash right so again i will write and as we can see that this ty component this ty component is producing clockwise moment at at this point o right about this point o so we will write plus ty and ty is t sine of 10 degrees into 5.3 sine of 5 degrees right so 5.3 sine of 5 degrees is this distance this a a dash if we consider this a o a dash triangle so this a a dash this is that a a dash side of their triangle and this is that o a dash side of their triangle similarly this weight is acting at this point g so now let me remove this and if i draw that weight here right if this is that point g and if i draw that weight here so this weight will be acting downward and the perpendicular distance of this weight from this point o is again this distance right so this distance and this distance they are equal so let's say that this is the g dash point this is g dash point so as we can see that this weight is producing counterclockwise moment about o so we will write plus and weight is 600 into 9.81 and the perpendicular distance is this g g dash right so this o g length now we will consider this triangle o g g dash and this o g length is 4 meters so this will be o g dash will be the cos component of that 4 meter right so we will write 4 cos of 5 degrees and this will be equal to 0 right so now if we solve this so we will get that t component right so if we take t common from these two 5.3 t common from these two right so we we can write this will be 5.3 t and this will be minus cos of 10 degrees cos of 5 degrees and similarly plus sine of 10 degrees sine of 5 degrees equals to minus 600 into 9.81 into 4 cos of 5 degrees and if we divide this whole thing by this and this 5.3 into this thing so we will get that t so t comes out to be approximately 401 newtons so this much tension is required to cause this tree trunk to fall in the uphill direction. So this is the solution of this problem.